everybody, this is Audra here at Homesteading in Idaho. So, this is video number three in a series that I did on what we take when we're showing goats. So yes, besides doing the whole homestead thing, the boys are in 4-H and FFA, and we show our dairy goats and meat goats at various shows, including open shows. So this box is our box that we take with us to the wash rack when we need to wash our animals when we're at a show. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Now it is a little bit disorganized. We just got back from the show, so I need to wash everything that's in here. But I'm gonna share it with you anyway. So obviously you're gonna need a towel. And we always make sure we've got a really nice, good sized towel. And actually there was two of them in here, but uh, the other one is dirty, dirty, dirty. So always have at least two. We had four goats showing on one day and two towels was perfect for what we were doing. And then after our goats are clean, we take what I call a slinky. It's a, like a goat slinky, like we have for horses, but for goats. And we'll put this on our goat after they're clean, and it keeps them super, super clean and slick and shiny before we get ready to go to that show ring. Keeps them else if they lay down. It's less likely they're going to get dirty, picking up some sort of a stain. And specifically showing the boer goats, it's really easy for them to pick up some sort of a stain. Or if you show um, like the saunins, the big white dairy goats, they love to get dirty. So I've got four of these in here. We had four goats that were showing. They're in various sizes. Um, but we just made sure everybody had theirs at the show in their correct sizes. So those went. Now each of our goats has a collar that they had with them. I don't have the collars in here because that was part of their show gear. So when we take the goats to the wash rack, instead of taking one of those regular lead ropes, it's kind of in my, my idea, they're kind of heavy and they soak up a lot of dirt, grunge, and water, we have these ropes. We've got two ends. I can hook the goat, and then I can go hook to a rail or whatever with this end, and I can tie them up. These don't soak up a lot of water. They're nice and thin, so that was super handy to have. Then we've got a good brush. This one has bristles that can get wet. This can get wet. It's not going to ruin this. And we would put the soap on our goats and scrub them really, really well. Before a show, before we leave, I'll use those special conditioners and special shampoos to whiten them up, make them this and that. But honestly, once we get to the show, if I need to do any cleaning, I just take Dawn dish soap. I don't take our special shampoos. I don't try to whiten and anything else like that. I know maybe that sounds crazy, but they've been scrubbed to within an inch of their life before we left for the show. They're going to be fine. And once I get to a show, yeah, I want them to be clean before they enter that show ring. But my, my thought process changes from not only do I want to be clean, I don't know how many other people there might have dirty goats. And when you go to a goat show, it seems like you always pick up something to take home. Specifically, the two that most people end up with is goat mites or goat lice. And then there is ringworm, too, it seems like you end up with. Uh, thankfully, we didn't end up with any of that this year. But I think that's also because I literally scrub our goats when we're there with an inch of their life with this Dawn dish soap. And it kills a lot of those pests. It keeps them away from your animals. Um, it also works on the bacteria and everything else. So, Dawn dish soap. We had antacids in here. It's not just for people with upset tummies. It's really good to have in a box with you at your show. It um, is fantastic for goats that might be bloating. And if I get them to have these, some of the goats think these are just terrific. And if they're getting upset tummy and they're starting to bloat, I just give them some Tums. If they will eat them. If they won't eat a Tums, I have baking soda on hand because I can just open this, open their mouth, and dump some in their mouth. They don't like me. But I'd rather have a live goat that's very unhappy with me than a dead goat that's going to explode. So, baking soda. WD-40. Now, honestly, this was supposed to be in box number two. But for whatever reason, it ended up in box number three for this video. Uh, we have WD-40 on hand for our show collars. Just in case one of them starts to stick or whatever, we can keep those show collars nice and loose. Those collars have um, links on them that can get stuck and roll tight. So I just have WD-40 on hand. Doesn't matter what box is in. We probably, who knows what. In every single one of our boxes, I try to have a multi-tool of some sort. Uh, not only for just, you know, the whole gripping version, 
but these all have a knife on them. And you would be surprised how often you have to cut an antelope free of something. Um, so it's just nice and handy to have that knife in there with additional tools in case I need them. Duct tape, heavy, heavy duty duct tape, gorilla tape. Uh, you'd be surprised what you might end up fixing or taping up at a show. We've got hydrogen peroxide. Now this is honestly more so in case we have an ouchie, you know, and I need to doctor them. In kit number two, you'll see I actually had the, uh, the rubbing alcohol was in kit number two. This was in kit number three. I just don't have enough room in these boxes to keep everything that I need. So I kind of have to space it out a little bit. And then last thing that was in this kit for this show was this, it's called ProBios. It's, it's a microbial for the gut of your goat. And it's like yogurt for people. And it just keeps their guts happy if they're not feeling good. Now, something that was not in any of my kits, um, I had it in our truck. I just didn't have it in any of these kits handy because I didn't have it broken down into a smaller size, was um, it's called kaolin. And it's excellent for an animal that's got diarrhea. You give it to them for diarrhea, it helps stop the diarrhea you don't diarrhea in an animal is just as bad as it is for people it just dries you out all it's flushing all your nutrition from you it is common to have that happen to go to the show we haven't had that happen to one of ours but it seems like at every single show we've gone to i know somebody there that's had a goat end up with diarrhea getting sick and so it just helps if somebody's got it on hand you can help somebody out so i didn't have it in any of my kits because i didn't have it broken down into a smaller bottle I literally have it in a gallon sized jug. Um, but for future, I do need to remember, put a small container together so I've got it in my boxes. All right, so that is box number three. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask, why did I put in here what I put in here? Why didn't I put in here what I maybe don't have in here? Do you have suggestions on what you would put in here? Uh, one of the things that's not in here, I don't even know, I know it was with us. <laughs> It's a scraper blade. Whiny goats. Um, I had a scraper blade in here for uh, at the wash rack to get excess water off. Now I'm like, I wonder where that went. Hopefully we didn't donate it to the fair. Um, but yeah, feel free to ask questions and everything else. Love talking to you guys. Appreciate you all. So anyway, I'm going to put this back together, take this stuff in to get it washed, prepped, cleaned, and load this box back up for the next show, whatever that may be. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye.